The DuckLine tool is one of the most robust tools ever built into the Practicam CAD suite. It is designed to automate virtually everything you need to do from an estimate of a printed file to full BIM coordination in products like AutoCAD, Revit, or Navisworks. This tool comes part of both the Practicam design suites and Practicad design suites, meaning it works on Practicad, PractiRev, or just Practicam estimating for Windows. For the purposes of demonstrating this tool, we will be using the Practicam estimating and tracing a variety of prints. Looking at this tool, you can see how fast and easy the DuckLine makes it to trace a flat print and convert it into an estimate, a 3D CAD file, which can be exported to Practicad or PractiRev, and then fully downloadable to Practicam, the most advanced manufacturing system in the world for sheet metal and HVAC. The days of estimating with one software, then drafting in another and inputting into a third system, re-inputting the same dimensional data again and again is over. The Practicam CAD Design Suite resolved this problem, bringing you seamless integration between CAD, CAM, and estimating. DuckLine automates the drafting process into simple clicks. All fittings are generated automatically on the fly, such as size changes and turns. Fittings can be logic-driven to automate which one gets used where. GRDs can be automatically generated at the right elevations and connected with large varieties of choices between flex, pipe, collars, grill cans, and more. Elevations are automatically created and accurate whether you're drawing a riser straight up and down or sloping between points. Even roll angles are easy to estimate and draw within plan view. In addition to fitting selection, the duct line is optimizing the line to avoid collisions between flanges and taps and automatically adding or subtracting straights out of your fittings to leave you with the most economical system you can build. Bottom line, this tool is designed to help you save money and time. Now there are too many features inside the duct line alone to demonstrate in one video, but we'll cover some of the many features duct line offers, including Copy tap, mirror tap, quick elevations, duct line optimization, advanced routing tools, and the greatest editing tools you will see inside sheet metal drafting software. The first thing we're going to show is how simple it is to draw elevated views accurately, even while you're in plan view. See here as we draw a set of risers. First, we choose the size tool, which lets us click between two points to get the size of the riser we want to draw. Then we give the first elevation in the elevation box, click on the drawing, go back, give the second elevation, and the riser is drawn. In this example, we drew everything from 0 foot to 20 foot. Notice these risers are perfectly drawn between our two points and with whatever manufacturing specifications we chose. Next, we will demonstrate drawing on a slope. See here as we touch the duct line to get an automatic boot tap to form. Then we use the slope to command to pick the point we want the duct to slope down to, draw under the collisions we are trying to avoid, and then use the slope to again to get back to our original height. If you watch carefully on the front view on the top of your screen, you can see the software automatically putting in OG offsets to accommodate the change in elevation. Then using a grill command, we drop down and place a GRD right where we want. Elevations made simple. Built into the duct line is a variety of optimization features which greatly speed up the drafting process. See here as we trace a print and notice that every time we turn or change the size of the line, the duct line is adjusting the straights of elbows and lengths of transitions for us to make sure we get the max amount of full length pieces as possible in a run and try to eliminate the small ones. Of course, these settings from NMAX are adjustable, but as you can see here as we explode the duct line and run auto tagging on this run, then we are left with all full length pieces wherever possible and just three fittings. The less connections you have to make, the quicker you can install. Duct line does this for you automatically. And optimization doesn't stop there. Using the tap on connector option, we can have the duct line automatically readjust the line every time you try to tap off a place where a connector is sitting. See here as the boot tap is placed right on the flange, but once we accept our run, the duct line optimizes again, moving the joints around to avoid the collision. This greatly reduces the time it takes to edit a line as you move things around in coordination. It also prevents a lot of erasing and redrawing. You can see here as we show this example with three boot taps on the run, each click the duct line re-optimizes to move the flanges to avoid the collisions by adjusting the straight in on the elbow on the right and moving the smaller joints around. Normally this task would have to be done manually, but not with duct line. Now we will demonstrate logic driven routing. Looking inside our duct line settings, we see we've set STODs to be drawn when we draw below 12 inch and conicals with dampers to be drawn when we draw over 12 inch. This is just one example of how you can set up rules to make sure the duct line always chooses the fittings you want when estimating or drafting. Notice here as we draw above and below our different size breaks, the duct line draws exactly which fittings we'd like to use. In the next example, we will choose three different types of elbows. 
First, if diameter is less than 12 and angle is 45 degrees, we use a short adjustable L that will be ordered only. If diameter is less than 12 and angle is 90 degrees, we'll use a medium pressure elbow also ordered. And the round elbow gourd three at the top, this is our default in case our conditions aren't met. Coming out to the drawing window, we will use the duct line to order out a 10 inch 45 degree elbow. Then we will order out a 10 inch 90 degree elbow. And lastly, a 16 inch elbow running out to a GRD. Then we will explode the duct line and apply auto tagging to the run so we can see our sizes. Notice as we click the first elbow, it is the correct short adjustable L that is ordered. The second one is the proper medium pressure elbow, which is also ordered. And finally, the round elbow gourd three will be cut and label, meaning fabricated. With duct line fitting selection is completely automatic. Here we will demo the node editing feature that was added to duct line. This tool makes it easy for us to cut into existing duct lines, change direction, or split lines to go multiple ways. See here as we easily convert a square elbow into a square T to split the line. Then we will cut into the duct line by selecting the option node, choosing the location on the line we want to cut in, and pressing enter. And as with all duct line editing, the line is optimizing as you go, eliminating short pieces and shifting joints. The next example of editing with the nodes is branching off at a different angle. See here as we're holding pipe, we select node, cut into the line, then use the slope to feature to route upwards and over to the point we want. Duck line just cuts directly into the line with a conical T and tap, calculates the roll angles and routes the proper elbows. Using the node feature, drawing sloping duct with roll angles has never been easier. Though it is extremely fast to draw and route taps using the duck line tool, make the workflow even faster using copy tap. This feature allows you to select any branch run, choose copy, select what you want to copy, example duct, flex, grills, or air devices, and copy it over with one click as many times as you like. And the runs can be copied on either side of the duct line as well, while maintaining the proper orientation. Here you can see several different examples of prints that have taps with grills in the front that we will just copy over using one click each. Using copy tap with other duct line tools, like mirror tap, auto routing to GRDs, and view tracking can greatly increase your estimating and drafting times. Just like copy tap, the mirror tap feature has the ability to copy and flip duct lines, grills and flex, or mirror them quickly and easily as you can see here. Just select the duct line branch you want to mirror, choose the mirror tap option, choose what objects you want to copy, and click where you want it to start, and duct line mirrors and copies at the same time. It's that easy. One of the fastest features in Duckline is the grill routing option. See here as we route about a dozen different routes that are all automatic using the G for grill command. First was a rec tap to rec grill using an elbow. Next was a rec tap to rec grill, but this time with the collar underneath and an end cap on the line. In addition to these, there's an ever evolving range of different combinations based on user preferences, including, but not limited to, parameters for min max flex, absolute and relative elevation parameters for perfect or estimated grill placement, ability to route with only hard pipe, ability to use any combination of pipe, elbow, and flex you wish. If engineers allow you to bend flex off the edge of pipe, there's a route for that. If elbows are needed first and flex isn't allowed to bend, there's a route for that. Running round duct to rectangular neck grills and need a custom grill cam placed on top of the grill first? This is one click away from being completely automated. The duct line really makes drafting with terminal units easy, and as you're about to see, these routes can be built into the actual connections, meaning once you touch duct line to a grill's neck, duct line will automatically route directly to that grill using your custom duct line settings. However, every turn or move before you choose to route to a grill can be done on the fly with duct line with ease. This is simply a giant time saver for any draftsman or estimator. To demonstrate some of the vast editing capabilities of DuckLine, we're going to select the node here on the branch coming off a riser. We're going to go to the elevation box, type in our new elevation, and upon hitting enter, the DuckLine has now made the adjustment. Again, we will do this for the second branch. We will select the DuckLine node we want, edit the elevation in the elevation box, and press enter. Elevation changes are that easy. To represent another great example of editing elevation, we will use the DuckLine's lift command to start a run at 5 foot centerline, then we will type in 12 foot in the elevation box and lift the line upward. Then we will draw over to the right and then back down to 5 foot. 
Now, to edit the segment in the middle, just select the node we want, update to the new elevation, and the duct line edits all the necessary fittings in the run to accommodate the change. Stretching can also be done here to shift runs down the line. Now switching to our next screen, we will use the duct line nodes to edit this duct line from rectangular to equivalent round. Just select the node we want to edit, choose the new shape and the property box, and the duct line makes the adjustment to convert rec fittings to round or oval fittings chosen by our custom duct line settings. Now we'll demonstrate the ability to swap fittings in and out of the duct line as we please. Here we go into the duct line editing window. We select the square elbow as you see here, and now we're going to choose to change it to a radius elbow. Then we will easily swap out this conical tap to an STOD or high efficiency takeoff by just selecting what we want to update and pressing the OK button. Here you can see all the changes made in the main screen. And note, we can also swap fittings of the same type all at once with a similar node feature. Here we're going to grab all the GRDs in view or entire drawing, and we're going to switch out the tightest TMS lands to price PDF GRDs. It's that quick and easy. Stretching commands were added to simply move branches and main lines wherever we want just by dragging the duct line nodes. And note, upon every single move, the duct line is re-optimizing the line based on the preferences of min-max straights and stock sizes so you don't have to erase or redraw anything. Here we will adjust the transitions properties in the middle of the run direct from the property box. Just pick the parameter we want to change, press enter, and notice the way duct line edits everything to accommodate us. Want to update the specs of the entire run? Simply highlight the duct line, open up your work box, choose the new specification, and apply it to current selection. It's important to notice that duct line will update everything, including lengths of duct and all parameters to apply this change without ever shifting the run. This is the fastest editing tool on the market. So let's recap some of what we've shown regarding the duct line tool. Rapid drafting with logic driven fitting selection, quick and easy elevation changes for risers and sloping duct, automatic optimization, fast and flexible auto routing to your GRDs, quick tools like copy tap, mirror tap, reverse line, or cut into line, and simply the most robust editing mechanism in the industry, allowing a seamless transition or handoff from estimating to drafting or manufacturing in any order you wish. This video is only touching the surface of what DuckLine can do for your different departments. And again, this tool is currently available for the Practicam Design Suite with estimating, Practicad, or PractiRev, allowing you to work in and out of whichever product you desire.